We have 11 dogs. 11 dogs? Yeah. Okay, you better take that food there. Okay. Good afternoon world. We are visiting Puppy Puddle today, which is an animal rescue centre here in General Luna, Chargao Island. The story is hard at work carrying in the dog bowls that we just bought. We just met with Dasha who's leading us in right now. Story's heaven, she loves animals. We're about to enter the original Puppy Puddle house. This is the first house they got and they've just recently expanded to a second house. Hello puppies. <laughs> All of these puppies have been rescued from the island. Luna, say hello. Hi Luna. It's okay. it's okay, it's okay, they don't bite. They don't bite. You have to gain their trust story. Yeah, they just bark in because they don't know you. They've never met you. You can you can stroke her. Oh my god, look at the colours. Pink. Oh you wanna give them the present? Then we better go up there, okay? Hello. Hi Sufta. Hi. Oh, you're nice. Aww. <laughs> he is nice. Do you think he likes the bowl? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you think he likes pink? Yeah, like no. us? I just want. <laughs> oh my god, Luna is gonna love it. She loves to play. That's the loud one. <laughs> yeah. Story, you chose all these colors yourself, didn't you? Um, I'll get it out and you will give it to her. Yeah? Yeah. Can we just come in? All right, you lead the way. Hi puppies! It is a bit messy because we have lots of puppies at the moment and they just like to play. This is the star. He is not very soft, but he has a very soft heart. Oh. He loves cuddles all the time. Oh, Why is that? How old they are. So that is around four months, coming up to five. Oh, that's so young. You have yes, to get their trust, the sorry. And then they start See if they come the to you, reach your hand out. Itchy, they scratch themselves. Yeah. And then they get all like scabby. You can put the bone down in front of them, see if they'll come and smell it. Yeah, yeah, and people don't want to touch them because yeah. they think see, they're See if she sick. likes it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on girls, Lucy! <laughs> Lucy! You don't know that kind of toy, do you? You know this one? Same thing. <laughs> it's just pink. There you go. Oh, look at her. Wow. <laughs> Alright, don't do the squeak oh, noise. Oh, and Wow. That's Luna. Luna! Luna! Can yeah. you see that under the, under the chair story? Yeah. Aww. There she is. Place it down gently and let them sniff it. See, she needs love. Yeah. I'll, I'll go to her. When, when, I when like, I she go. likes to hear also. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, you're learning all the Very secret gently spots. On the head and on the nose. She's getting even sleepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She likes it. She's, she feels comfortable. <laughs> To go and see the other doggies. They live in the other house, okay? Okay, we can see if they can get the collars on, see if they fit. Is that a good yeah. idea? I, yeah. I, I might so do it all by myself. Do you want to take? Oh, you will do it all by yourself? Okay, for sure. Come on, 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 This is Choo Choo. Hey Choo Choo. He's a bit shy. In, in the yeah? You're gonna feed them, Story? Choo Choo, come here. Choo Choo. And Story's at that age where she loves doing chores, so this is perfect. <laughs> of course. That's off that. It's gonna get even bigger like, like, like a cow. Like a cow? Okay, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe not that big. <laughs> Maybe not as big as a car. So when we, when I love I these repurposed suitcases that they're using as dog beds. It makes so much sense. Over the last few days we've been to three or four different shops that we thought might have dog stuff and nowhere had dog beds. So to be able to repurpose things like this makes a lot of sense. Hello, here's a visitor. He comes up to me all the time when I go back home, uh, when I come back home and then he welcomes me and everything. He's a man. Well, the big doggies came. Yeah, really like I saw. Oh, wow. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, let's go. Hello, beauty. Oh, a bit shy. Oh, it's okay. You come for a stroke. Oh, <laughs> 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 you're sweet. I like you. 
Why? Because she was. These doggies are eyeing us up. Hey. It's okay. You can trust us. Come here. If you look strokey, look. Sorry, this doggy's only got one eye. I yeah. <laughs> you can trust us. You can trust us. Yeah. Oh, you're soft. Yeah. Ah, it's just. Oh. Ah, good job. Good job. Okay. Let's go sit. Let's go. Let's go sit. 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 Good girl. Now you can give it to me. Good girl. Oh. So, <laughs> don't worry, they, they don't bite. They will just lick you all over. So Molly's the doggy that needs the collar, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And then Mama dog, but she's normally very, very shy. Molly, it's very slimy. Very all right, because we're new here, we have to get them to gain our trust. Oh, I like it. It's not for you, Pasco. <laughs> I like it. So we actually heard about Puppy Puddle from our friend Mila. When we first came to the island, she was taking pictures of some of the dogs in Santa Fe and sending them to the guys here. And then what happens is the dogs eventually end up here. They get treated via donations. They get fed and cared for. And eventually people adopt them, you know, because there's pictures of them on the website. There's pictures of them on the Instagram page. Sometimes they organize like a group spaying to allow the dogs to get treatments that they don't normally have access to. So the doggies get to recover in a very peaceful location here in the jungle and the puppy puddle team they're always accepting new volunteers so sometimes if you were just a tourist and you were passing through but you want to do some volunteer work you can organize that so i was going to put a collar on pasco because pasco is actually flying to new yeah. york soon so oh. she'll go That's with a new fancy easiest. collar for her journey <laughs> so you know you know how to do it yeah okay, okay. you have see. to do slowly story like this. okay so these bits they go out yeah so we'll take it like that <laughs> what is that? I'm run away. Let's go. Oh, know what's going on. May I help you? I'll go around. I'll go around. Okay. Yep. It's always been dying to help yep, out with this. Oh, she's looking very festive. <laughs> and Pasco means Christmas in Bisaya, so it's perfect. Mali's still scared to come over. Where does Sidney go? Cam Cam. Is that the first goat's name? Yeah. Sim Sim. Yeah. Saga. Yeah. Lombi. Okay. <laughs> it's instead. Yeah, you do love to name animals, don't you? Saga. Sara. Shelly. Shelly. Okay. Yeah. That'll be the nice one. Yeah. Okay. So how Puppy Puddle works when a new puppy comes into the shelter, they look for a sponsor for the puppy to be able to start them off on a better life. For example, when the, this little puppy comes in, they take them to the vet, they get them checked over, and they start them off on their vaccinations that every dog should have, their six in one vaccinations, and buy them a collar. And the cost for that is 2,500 pesos, that's what they ask for, for someone to sponsor the puppy, to be able to vaccinate them. It's usually a one-time payment that Puppy Puddle asked for to do that, just so the puppy can get a good start. Pasco, the white dog, has been adopted as we have already said and obviously the owner pays monthly for her food so Pasco should have already flown off to New York but because of lockdown she also got locked down and stuck here <laughs> you're still trying to get the doggies to play <laughs> hello this is Mr Marshmallow hello Mr Marshmallow <laughs> One of the main things that they also do here, do here at Puppy Puddle is treat the dogs for mange when they come in. It's one of the most common things that the doggies have here and it is one injection that they need and then within a month all their hair starts growing back and it is such an amazing transformation. These doggies are all up for adoption as well. The goal is for the dogs not to stay at the shelter. They try and get them adopted within a month of them arriving. And they can be adopted all around the world. They can arrange for the pet transport to different countries. Obviously at the moment it's a bit tricky with all the travel restrictions but that is how it works here. The dogs don't just have to stay in the Philippines, they can be adopted throughout the world so that is a pretty cool system okay we're just heading out of puppy puddle now the doggies are following us even a little puppy look oh choo-choo's taking us all the way back to the car story and pasco's there 
Nichiju, can you take care of Story's toy? Yeah, it's yours now. Manabu's been pacing around us all this time. <laughs> Won't let us stroke her. Story's gonna ride in the back with mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun at the dog place? We're just on our way home now. Thought we'd finish the video here. It's been a while since we stopped at this beautiful viewpoint. It's on our way home now, so it's part of the commute. The best place to see how beautiful this island is with all those palm trees. Nice view, isn't it, Story? There are so many palm trees on those hills. Yeah, and what about the sunset? You like the sunset? Yeah. Nice, isn't it? It's mixed up. Mm -hmm. Lots of different colours. So if you're watching this video and you want to know how you can help the doggies of Puppy Puddle and you live on the island, you can go and visit, you can buy food from the shops. We did that this morning, we picked up a load of food from a pet store, we got some adult food and some puppy food. Story helped us pick everything out. We went to the pet food store called Tag Agrivet and it had loads of different types of food for dogs there. You've got all different kinds of price ranges, so whatever your budget is, dogs always need food. So you could do that if you live on the island. We also went to Joland's and picked up some toys and some dog collars. Dog collars were what they needed the most, especially for large dogs. The bigger dogs. Yeah. yeah. Story had a great time choosing the collars, didn't you? Yeah. And if you're watching this video and you're not from the island, then you can visit the Puppy Puddle website. They have a donate button on there and they also have transformation stories on there so you can see where your money is going. Yes. What's good about Puppy Puddle is like you can sponsor a specific dog. Yeah, which so. is what I spoke about earlier. And you can also adopt, as I said earlier, from abroad as well. So if you're watching this in another country and you're looking for a new furry friend, then you can also do that as well. So as usual, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all of the links to all of their social media down below. And that's one more thing. If you don't feel like you have a budget for this right now, you can just like and share on their social media so that other people that do can also have a chance to adopt or sponsor a doggy. We are gonna end off the video doing a shout out with this lovely view behind us. Yeah, please excuse any motorbike noise. <laughs> First of all, we've got a shout out for Cynthia, requesting an anniversary shout out for her and her husband Armel, 11 years married. Wow, congratulations. Story always makes you guys smile. That's Aww. lovely. Happy anniversary. And the last shout out we're gonna do today is a very interesting one. I loved reading this message. This really, really made me smile. Yeah, this is from Mona Barcelona Casal. And she says that she met her boyfriend online because of our videos. <laughs> <laughs> so they started watching the videos at the beginning of COVID, yeah. started talking to each other on social media, yeah. and then they fell in love. Wow! How amazing! Yes, that is amazing. You guys are in a long distance relationship at the moment and you'll be meeting as soon as the COVID disappears <laughs> so you can travel again. So Mona wants to do a shout out to her boyfriend Stephen who's currently in London. She is born and raised in Manila, but is currently living in Bohol and has a little travel and tourism business there. Oh, fantastic. So hopefully you can show us around one day when we get to Bohol. Yeah, we do want to go there. We do. <laughs> Hello, Stephen and Mona. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed today's shout outs and today's <laughs> video. Don't forget the links are all down below and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.